What's up everybody? Matt Nuzzo hanging out here, Wing Hole. Great place to test some gear because it's deep right over there and we've got the new MAs, these are the production ones, ready to rock. So uh, 125,800. So we're gonna kind of just rip through these things real quick. The, I've been using the pre-production ones which have been exceptional, uh, really loving them. The production ones, I've heard nothing but good things but wanna try it firsthand. Winging is a great way to test some gear because I could just go out flat water, no current, no chop, no nothing, and just really feel the foil. You can also stand on the foil with wings, so you can pump it, you can turn it, you can kind of see how it's going to perform at high speeds and low speeds, under power, uh, uh, without power, with power. So that's really kind of one of the key things of which we're gonna do. I am gonna rig this setup with just a stock 232 tail wing. I've been testing these with the HA tail wing and the 232. 232 is just gonna give you that more stability, more of a cruisy feel. Uh, HA is gonna give you higher speed, better glide. You know, one of the key things, couple key attributes with these new MAs is that they are high performance wings that are designed to be user friendly. They're closest to, if you can imagine, they, the CFV2 with that really low stall speed and really kind of rail to rail car V turning feel. Uh, had a baby with the HA, which is high performance, high speed, great up wind, uh, lots of glide, but higher stall speed and much more temperamental to ride. Those things had a baby and these came out. And that's really what they were trying to do. Have something that's pump, gonna pump like crazy, gonna be really high performance, but also still user friendly. Can this be your first foil? Sure, 1225, no problem. Some of the smaller ones, probably not as much. And that gets to like, what size are these foils? Like, how big are they? So they do, cause they are spanny, ride bigger than the size on the bag. So 1225 in comparison to an HS is gonna be like an HS. Uh, 1400. The 1000 would be like an HS uh, 1000. The 800 probably HS 850. Uh, all that being said is that they do in like maxed out conditions. They handle those maxed out conditions. They're saying something about the camber. I don't really know. These things have got so much, so many weird lines and shapes and all these different things that I don't understand the technical aspects of it, but they designed them so they can be ridden oversized, overwaved, overpowered. And that's the, you know, the team rider that have been riding the 800. They're like, dude, I could tow this thing in really chunky surf and really have lots of control that I was not expecting from a wing this size. So, you know, I've been riding, winging the thousand a ton um, and it's just really super fun. So uh, I am going to try out the Performance 795 mass first day on this mass too. Uh, and it, I'm looking forward to trying this size. I've used the, the 935 a bunch. Uh, obviously the, the 72 and the 85 standard masses are my go-to mass. So it'd be cool to try this size on this mass. You know, you're dealing with that, you know, real high performance, leading edge, shape, uh, high modulus construction. So it's gonna be stiffer, a lot, lot more torsional rigidity, much uh, smoother, faster running foil section, a little fatter cord. So I'm expecting a little quicker, uh, a little slower turning rail to rail, but uh, a little quicker to get up on foil and get going. So let's get on the water and see how it goes. All right. Session time. Kind of frothy right now. I mean, this thing looks so awesome. It's gonna be pretty windy. Gonna get geared up, go take some laps. Still in a 3-2 and it's December. Like it, like it. Let's get this wingy thingy rigged up. Taking out a five meter today. Trying out a new proto wing, hand wing. So see how that goes. I've used it a couple times, pretty good. I'm sure it's gonna be 100% different by the time I, it comes to production, but always good to do testing gear, testing gear. All right, let's go check out this good aspect. Come on, that thing is freaking hot right now. Check that out. So many cool little shapes and really thin leading edge. Like, check this out, real thin leading edge. Like, this part right here is just beautiful. And then they've got this cool ridge down here. One of the things I've noticed in the, the product, uh, prototype ones was that they breach and then reconnect like just below the surface. So like when we were uh, winging the Motu's left, so I was on the 1000. And I was just totally maxed out on a wave that's way bigger than I'm comfortable with and uh, flying down the face and just kind of skip out of the water. I'm like, oh, I'm done. The thing skips out of the water, whole, whole wing breaches, comes onto the surface, reconnects, keep riding out of the wave. I was like, now that saved my ass. I appreciate that. So, all right, let's get this thing on the water, see how it goes. Phew. 12.25, let's talk about stall speed. Stall speed is how slow can I go without it dropping out? Still have front pressure. I'm going slow. Super slow. Okay, just dropped a little bit or it caught. I got some seaweed on there. Okay, let's 
clear our shooting aid. This thing races and just reconnects. Look at that. Still walls, but I didn't fall. It's just insane. Like, I ended up touching down, but very little, you know, and just always reconnects. Even there's a bubble coming off the back of the link. Actually reconnect so well, it throws me off like it just did. So easy. So slow and I wonder, so slow. I took down that one, but so long, so well. <laughs> it just keeps correcting itself, crazy. Wow. Look at that, it's just crazy. This foil's gonna be crazy for leveling up because you're just gonna have it correct all the time. Look at pump size, too. Oh yeah, stock setup, 232 tail. Sick. Okay, let's test the pump. No, it's not good on. Test the pump. Really predictable. Just kind of mess you up or throw you off. Just pretty easy, easy. I found it wasn't the fastest to pump back out in the lineup, but it's definitely controllable when I messed up or through white water. This was really predictable, caught easy. Good to go. Shallow. Whew. Okay, 1225. I think I'll switch it out for the thousand. I mean, this thing is just incredible. It's so much fun and user friendly. Like I think that a lot of people, whereas like a 1250 on the HS was like a high performance foil. This is extremely high performance, but it's a bigger size. So I think it's a lot more accessible to a lot more riders. And it's just how it catches. Like I, like, I kind of mess up sometimes because it catches so well when you breach it. And um, it's just really, really forgiving. That real low stall speed allows you to get up on foil, get going and uh, like start jamming, like it goes up wind really well. It's not, doesn't pump like the HA, you know, this will be a little smaller than the HA 1125, but it doesn't pump like that. It doesn't get that glide, but it's close. And what you lose in glide, you gain in usability, that low speed, stall speed. And like, if you're too low on the mass, you could hop it back up and recover. And that's what I noticed surfing, like through white water, through foam, through kind of funky conditions. It just de keeps delivering and performing, so. 1225. Sorry, this is gonna be a go-to foil for me for foil surfing, light wind winging, small wave winging, just kind of all around stoking out sessions. All right, let's change out to the thousand. So one of the things they've done on this foil is they've, in the construction, is they've incorporated some high modulus carbon in there just to make it like ex extra rigid where they really need it. So, you know, a lot of what's happening in arm trunk stuff, you can't see because it's under the skin. You, can't, you know, I don't understand all these little nuances of these wing shapes and all that stuff. But I mean, how they ride, like they've just been crazy hard at work to make these things the best and highest performance mid-aspect foils that are user-friendly. And from my experience with the prototypes and now the production ones, I think they have nailed it with this setup. Also a little overview, 795, first time going like on this one. One of the things I noticed is just how quickly it gets going. Like your forward speed and your lift out of water, like it just, it, it, there's, it's so slippery through the water that you get up on foil really quickly and it has just a very comfortable, controlled, positive feeling. I've noticed that with the uh, the performance mass, 
the it, it, they're just really smooth, smooth, smooth through the water, really fast. I mean, I'm not pushing the limits of the speed on them, but the the biggest notice uh, place I notice it is with the large span HA wings. So like 1325, 1125, 1325, 1525, like those really wide span HA wings uh, light up with the performance mass. So, all right, let's try this out. Of there. So much food today. Wow, this thing is so easy to car on. Corn so great. Look at that. Wow. Just my chain speed so easily. crazy you hear this thing popping and burping all the time and it just goes like it just maintains its speed and glides so easily I love this boy on this guy. I'm going super slow. Going super slow. Still getting plenty of front hook speed at. Oh, there we go. So, the sows and let's do a little uh, take off to see how it easily comes off the water. Just did a stall speed test and it, you know, it just hangs in there. It just keeps for, for, uh, providing front foot pressure without just diving, nose diving down. Easy, easy, here we go. Wow, this thing, this thousand is exceptional for winging. I mean, this is going to be my go-to. I'll probably prone it a lot too once I get used to it. I've been proning the 1225 more just because it's winter and I'm not prone foiling as much. And, but this thing, you know, once I get my, my summer legs on me, I think it'll be awesome. You know, the again, coming back to that stall speed, it just makes like really, really comfortable and user friendly. The HAs are faster and a little higher and higher performance, but the control you get out of this allows you to just, you know, do stuff and like recover so you can push yourself harder, uh, which is just really a cool setup and feeling. I mean, you could just like skip out, breach the foil. Like there's a lot of seaweed today, so I keep kind of popping a wing tip to blow the, the seaweed off. You just slide it across the surface of water, pops back down, reconnect. It's just so freaking cool. Like I am in love with this thousand. It's such a good foil. I mean, it, it's, uh, uh, people are gonna trip out when they ride this thing. Pretty work, Armstrong, pretty work. All right, now I'm gonna go to the 800. I don't really ride foils that small. Like the smallest foil that I'm riding is like the 950. I like kiting it, I like winging it when it's really windy. Um, but a lot of the smaller ones are just too turny side to side. Like the small HAs are, uh, you know, not enough uh, stall speed. You know, they just like, they drop out on me. They're really kind of harder to get going. Um, just been more challenging for, for riding for my ability level. But, um, you know, we're, we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. The truth will be in the pudding. Let's see here. All right. One of the things I noticed with this 795 mass, I, th I thought I was going to really notice the difference in size compared to the 85 as far as, like, you know, being too short. Because uh, I'm normally winging with the 85. But it's actually been quite good. Like, I mean, I, I haven't had many issues, like... I don't know, it feels 
really comfortable and controlled. I think part of it is that with the mid aspects, they recover so well that I'm uh, like, I'm getting up to the surface with more comfort without having it, you know, any breach instability issues. So uh, I've been really enjoying this, this size 795. I think it's going to be really popular for that one mast fits all quiver for people that want to have one for surfing. A friend of mine uh, said he's been surfing and he said, it, you know, compared to the 72, it took a little getting used to, you know, for kind of like uh, pump cannons, but he also said that the rigidity and the feedback you get from how well this mast works it really translated to pumping. So I uh, look forward to trying out surfing too. All right, 800, moment of truth. Here we go. Look at this thing. Sick. So I haven't ridden the protos on the HA tail a bunch. You know, the HA tail, actually this surf tail, like the, the 232 tail with the turn up wing tips, it still turns really well because it's turned up wing tips. The HA tail is smaller, so you get more straight line speed, but the downturn kind of gives you a little more locked in. Uh, it kind of keeps it locked in for such a small tail. So turning wise, I actually find both tails to be similar. HA tail obviously is faster. Uh, this tail is just a little more stable for that real low speed stall speed that I'm um, finding really awesome to have. Okay, getting up switch on 800. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how user friendly this guy is. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That really took some more speed. Oh, man, nice. Oh, turn it. Oh, yeah. Woo. Holy cow, this thing comes. Great set on 800. A lot of speed. Stall speed. Definitely a higher stall speed than a thousand. But even when you go slow, you get a lot of fun, a lot of feedback until it sucks. Let's see. Clear the grass. Oh, I didn't see a shot. Need to set it out, not easy. Oh yeah, this thing is naughty. This 800 is beautiful. A lot of front foot positive feedback. Oh man, this 800 is a lot more fun than I expected. Uh, it does take more forward speed to get going than the 1000 or the 1225, obviously. But a lot of times the foils this this small, like I I can't even get them going. There's also a lot of seaweed today, which really affects foils. It just creates drag and brings them down. This is less affected by that, and uh, it, you know, but it also makes me have to clear the foil a lot. And so, like, you know, you just skip it up, it catches, it maybe bounces down, but gets back up on foil. So, definitely need more speed to get going. Recovery is great. Turning, I mean, for the rippers, like this thing, just really carvy. It's, it's not too turny for me. Like I could do transitions. Like the foil is too turny. What happens is the board gets wonk side to side quickly. So I was able to kind of switch my feet and change around, you know, do, do some foot switches and stuff. Uh, it feels, I actually think I'm gonna ride this thing a lot because it's really user friendly for an 800. I mean, this size is so much fun. I think kiting is gonna be crazy uh, because the thing absolutely hauls ass. Like it goes super, super fast. So overall first impression winging on the mid aspect foils, like high performance foils that have some really uh, great user friendly characteristics that they brought from the CFV2 like that real low stall speed, a little more front foot feedback. Um, you're getting the glide, not quite as much glide as the HA, but a lot of glide and a lot of user friendliness. Still lots of turning. Armstrong refuses to make a foil that won't turn. And so these things turn like incredibly well in all sizes. And I'm just riding the stock 232 tail, no shims uh, on this. Performance mast, uh, uh, I mean, I've been loving the 795, or sorry, the 935. The 795 is really quite impressive um you know in this size foils like is it a necessity uh, because i can have it <laughs> yes I, i'm gonna ride this foil this mass a lot compared to like the 72 and 82 I was talking to the guy at the shop he's like you know I, i'm not really riding you know the big ha foils so i don't think i really need it and once you ride it you're like wow this thing is 
crazy good. Um, but for your average rider, for most riders, the stock master can be good. But if you are pushing it, you want to have that high performance stuff, you're a much bigger rider or have uh, are using those big HA uh, front wings, then the, the Performance Mass Series will be great. And the 795, I think it's kind of like it hits all sports, does everything. Uh, one size mass fits all. So if you want more reviews, check us out online, realwatersports.com. We'll see you on the water for the next session. Yeah.